Brian Hartz. Today, <clears throat> I mean, this evening, we are doing a night vlog because David Omen has invited us out to have dinner at his house and to talk about the crazy happenings that have been happening out here at his place on Cielo Drive. So, Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. So the section over here, that's where Jeff Franklin lives now, and that was where the Sharon Tate house was. And we're actually gonna be dining right over here. All right, Jess, you are my guest tonight because I've been a little skeptic about ghosts and things and you seem to be more of a believer. So are you excited about meeting David and his ghosts? Oh, definitely. Well, we'll see what David has in store. He says that the ghost activity has been hot and heavy. So of course we're coming out here to visit David. We have to start in front of the gates of the property where, you know, that infamous night happened. And I said, Jeff Franklin, a lot of people know him from Full House. I now know him from just one of the guys. He was one of the writers and producers of that movie. All right, we are here at David's house and I wanna give his doors a chance to open on their own. You can tell that you're at David's house because when you come to the front door, he lets you know, haunted house tours. And this guy greets you. David, I actually did a poll today. I did a live stream today and asked people for questions. And some of the questions were stuff like, do, do people, you know, does time of the day, do you see more activity? And it got me thinking, I thought, does certain people moving in and out of the area, does that affect anything that you've noticed? Interesting. Um, no, not really. I mean, it's only been a few days since they moved out. So it's kind of hard to say. And by the way, this hairdo, this is still my COVID-19. I can't get my hair cut. So that's why it's the uh, Bobby Sherman extremely long look. It's nothing personal, it just happens to be. But as your question about the time of day, ghosts don't have watches. It doesn't work like that. Ghosts do what they want to do when they want to do it. Okay, so you do see activity, day but it night. could be any time. Oh yeah, I mean, I've had myself videotaped when um, we were doing an investigation that was a three day straight shoot. We had a camera here, and during the middle of the day, I walked this way through the room as I remember, I walked down this way, and we watched the footage, and you see this object come from right about where Sharon's port painting is. It came out like this, and it started to follow me down the stairs. And, and they I got watched, it all? And I watched the footage, and I said, it was in color. So it was during the day, and everybody says, oh, it's a speck of dust reflecting against the infrared lights. And I said, oh, I, I believe that in most cases, but... It was colored, so there was no infrared light. So there can't be a speck of dust that's being reflected upon light that's not there. And literally, you watch this object, and it's not a bug, and it's probably about baseball size, and it's brilliant white. And it literally floats like undulatingly. And I stopped, and it stops like three feet behind me, and I kept going, and it kept going. It's like... Wow. Amazing. Now, when was this? How long ago was this? I'd say about 10 years ago. Okay. Well, I was asking you when, when I came in and you started laughing, but I was serious. I said, have you noticed any different activity because of the virus and everything that's going on with right. people being home more in the area? Have you noticed more or less ghosts coming through or? Well, I, here's the thing about my house. I don't have people like yourself or you coming into the house and going investigating. When I've had people in the past couple of weeks come into the house, stuff's like, oh my God, do you hear that? It's like, yeah, I hear that. It's from the other room, and we're in here, and we're the only three people in the house. And I'm going, the television's not on. So it's like, when you guys come in tonight, I'm looking forward to seeing just how active it is. Right, me too, because we're not just like hanging out to talk to you for 20, 30 minutes, an hour, and then leaving. We've been invited to have dinner, so you're, you're now grilling right now. Grilling we're going to be hanging out for a couple of hours. If anything happens, we'll be here to catch it. Yeah, and if anything happens and you hear anything, say stop. Write down the time, what room it is, what you hear. The whole house is laid out with 18 HD CCTV cameras. Like here, there's three in this room, there's three in that room. All of the floors are covered. No, not the bathrooms. But if you hear anything and you go, I, 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 I heard a voice. 
just stop and we'll go right down where it was, we'll review the footage. And Jordan's like, yeah, I've heard that shit before at David's house. It's nuts. He's been here before with Scott Michaels. And I was like, yeah, Jordan, you brought some guests with you. Now, David, what is this? This is new to me. I came in and I saw this great picture and I'm thinking, okay, I, I recognize all those faces, but what is this now? This is my new book, Ghosts of Cielo Drive. It's my uh, autobiography of the past um, 14 years, or 18 years of living here, plus building the house. And also the history of the area of Beverly Hills and Benedict Canyon and the ghost story, as well as demythologizing some of the myths about the Sharon Tate murders because I just don't like people propagating lies and stories that are not true, especially about my dear friend Sharon Tate. And for those who don't know, this is Rudolph Valentino, his house is across the canyon. This is a heavyweight champion of the world, Jack Johnson. He's a matter of fact, the first African-American heavyweight champion of the world from 1908 to 1915. And of course, we don't have, any of you knows who Sharon Tate is. And these three spirits have been known and are actually, their stories are in the, in the, of the house or in the book. And you've got a copy coming to you as well, Jordan. Thank you. Um, do you want to go outside and take a look at the ribs since they're on right now? Oh, I can see we're not the only guests making himself comfortable over here with his pet. Uh, here, Jordan, this is what you want to feast your eyes on. Wow, nice. My baby back ribs. Oh, they're beautiful. Just perfect. They look great. Thank you. Thank no, you for doing Jordan, that for thank us. Thank you for showing up. I mean, it's been about eight months since you were here, and it's like, look, I've got to get Jordan back. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. that. No, Jordan, you're great. And I love your videos. I, I get caught up, and it's like, Jordan's got a new video. It's like, all right, I don't know what the hell I got next next time, but I'm canceling, and I'm going to watch this. And I watch this, and I'm going, how come this guy doesn't have a show on television? He's so, you're so interesting a personality to watch and to give the history of the area and then the stories it's not like a lot of hyperbole oh look at this look at this it's just here's the story and it's as a matter of fact and interesting it's not it's almost reminds me of almost like a young Hugh Hauser in a sense because it's not it's interesting and it's fun it's not like beware of this it's I gotta scary. hire you to be my publicist David well, I mean I watch your videos <laughs> and I go Oh God, I'm here I am again watching Jordan for another hour. It's like, okay, fine, whatever. I don't care what I was going to do. This takes precedent. And it's amazing, the information that you pack in to your shows, it's, it's, it's easily digestible. It's not like, da -da -da -da. It's, it's just very smooth and, and it just, it accurates to your brain to go, you know something? I want to hear more. I appreciate that. No, that's well, why I'm glad you came back because I well, know you're so busy. It's like, where's he at? It's like, oh, he's in Texas. Oh, he's in Florida. Oh, he's in Canada. What's he next? <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't know that your book had anything to do with uh, the Valentino stuff. Do you want to give a tad bit of a teaser as to maybe what they can expect in your book or, or maybe yes, what you've experienced? Well, I'll tell you about my book. It's unique and it's different than any other paranormal book. From This is from the 300 and some odd people that have already gotten the press copy. And this is now the first edition. They all said, I like the way that you wrote it. I said, what do you mean? He goes, it's easy to understand. It's not coming with a whole bunch of religiosity. And there's a demon and there's Satan and it's the devil. They said, you just tell the story. Just like when you're talking to other people, like when I'm talking to Jordan. It's, here's the story. No highs, no lows, no hyperbole. That's the story. Take it or leave. And people said, it's honest. It's like you're talking to me. And so, wh so what good. did you what did you feel from Valentino? Or what did what, what is your one is one of your stories out here? One of the stories from Valentino was it was probably about ten years ago. No, about eight years ago. We did an investigation here, and somebody's we were downstairs in the third level, the theater room, and I snapped a picture. And in the picture, do you see the silhouettes of everybody? There's one person that stands out. There's a man wearing a, it looks like a flat type of a hat with a brim. And it's like the Spanish type of hat. Right, that right. Valentino used to wear. And I'm going, who the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse type, yeah. And it was like, nobody's wearing a hat. These people, have, this one person, no one had a baseball cap. He even said, that's not the silhouette of a baseball cap guy. That's a guy wearing a type of a friend, of a Spanish type of a hat. And we all said, blow it up and you can see the silhouette of a man with that hat and he's all darkened. You can't, as you try to enlighten it up, 
There is nothing that you can see. So earlier today, someone said, you should bring a Ouija board over to David Oman's house. And I said, we don't need to. He has his own. And there it is. But this is one of the rooms that he has the most activity in. He has a ton of uh, action figures and memorabilia in here. And it's kind of a weird experience that he said that he always finds that these figures fall over without being touched. And mind you, this is a gigantic aquarium and everything. So it's not like bumping into this is going to make them fall. So we'll keep an eye. If anything has fallen, I do see a couple of trolls that have taken the header, but we'll put them back up and then we'll see if anything happens while we're here. Well, maybe the trolls falling down is his thing. Oh, I made this joke earlier. I wondered if uh, us coming to dinner tonight at David's house would turn out to be like the dinner and Beetlejuice when the shrimp attacks them all and they're all singing Deo. Oh, we just had something happen because right away you noticed that you, you said, I just heard some sort of weird humming or something. And then all of a sudden David started hearing it as well. I'm standing here going, There it is right now, I can hear it. You can hear it, it's just faint like, mm -hmm. it's somebody humming, it's. All right, every time I look over at you, I keep thinking that something that David and I are talking about is kind of offending you or upsetting you. And you're like, no, 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 what's going on? Because now you mentioned that you're feel, you've are you been feeling weird. Just, I, I can't even explain it, just like awe. I keep trying to like, I keep For how long, like the last, it's been like the last 20 minutes, you just had a weird look on your face the whole time. Was, when I started hearing that noise, that hum or something, yeah. I actually reached out to Snoop Dogg because a friend of mine sent me a post that Snoop put up about Jack Johnson. And I said, Snoop, this is David Oman. I'd love you to come up and check out my house and my Jack Johnson museum. And I sent him a message on, uh, what was it, on uh, Instagram. Let's see if he responds. That'd be great. To yeah, let me up. know how, he, how that thought, goes. If he comes up, I should have you come up to cover it. So I'm in. The sound isn't happening anymore. No, it's not. The buzz, the humming sound, and that beeping sound from the kitchen, it totally stopped. Mm -hmm. And it was after you said, was what's been going on here, paranormally speaking. All right, we're gonna go downstairs and see what goes on today. Hi, Jim Morrison. Oh yeah, David has an amazing doors collection, autographs and ticket stubs and everything. But the room at the end of the hall is the one that people always have a an experience or feeling for. So that's the one we'll start in. There's the whole band. Follow the doors of perception. So before we go in the room, right before is David's Jack Johnson Museum. Pretty great. My, my chest is like tight. You're not gonna come in? You don't wanna no, go? I, I'll go, but I, I'm just saying like my, my chest is tight. Like I can't, it's weird. All right, let's go, come on. All right. You okay? Mm -hmm, I'm fine. You sure? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on in. You've been breathing pretty heavy behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and walk through there a little bit. I'm like, which way? Either way. Off, like literally off. Like you feel off? off? Yeah, I need to get out. To be honest, I always kind of feel a little strange in this room too, and it's hard to explain. I, I would almost say I get like a queasy feeling, like almost like you're like you're gonna get sick, but you don't. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like that's what she's kind of going through. Okay, so uh, there's another floor downstairs that we were going to do, and she still wants to do it, but she she did ask that she wants to go upstairs and get some fresh air. This is really hit her hard. 
So it's like, like I'm off balance and my chest is very heavy, like breathing. Like pressure on your right. chest? All right. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you, you, what do you see? Are you seeing anything visual, like in your mind's eye, like images no, or anything? No, like right now, I feel like my mind is like this. Like I'm going just back Just like a pendulum back yeah, and forth, like just trying to find you can You don't think that. anything that we were talking about before, like has affected you? No. No, you're talking about psychosomatic. Where I just, I just want to ask see. because, I mean, yeah, I mean, but it doesn't hurt to ask. In case, why wouldn't it have started up here then when you walked well, Yeah. It noticeably got worse when we walked downstairs. You're, yeah. I noticed your face change up here, but when we got downstairs, your bo like your body language had completely changed. Maybe oh, yeah. next time I'll go with you guys and we'll see if that has any difference. Maybe it's like an emissary like going in with her, say, hey guys, clear out, they're good, they're with me. I feel a queasiness when I go down there, so I, I feel something too, I just don't know how to quite explain it. What level did you go to? Just we were just on the, the second, second floor. floor. We didn't even make it down to the third floor yet. Oh wow! Yeah, she, she we oh, wow. came up for a break, and then we're gonna try that. So did she get to the um, to the uh, laundry room area? That's right? where she had to leave, and yeah. That's where you felt. So you felt it on that runway, right? right? So right when you took the step up onto the runway is when you got affected, right? Mm -hmm. and every I time. Told you, every time, it's like you can be on the landing where the uh, washer and dryer are, but once you take that step up six inches up to that runway. It's immediate. It's like, oh my God, I feel it. And you feel like you're, let me say this. Did you feel like you're on a boat rocking back and forth a little bit? Yeah. And usually it's one end or the other. When you walk down to this end, it's, it's, either, it's fine. And you walk She didn't even end. go to the other end. She went one end and then the came back to where we entered and le left. Yeah. Which end? Did you go towards this side? The far end. Well, this, the door or towards you, When you the walk door in, door. she made the right. She made the right all the way. Yeah, that's, it, it's, it's, it is that way that sometimes you walk down and it's like really intense. Other times you walk down to this side and it's really intense. It's like yin and yang. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. If she didn't walk this way, I'm curious if she walked this way and felt anything, but it was so dramatic at that end of on the right side. Yeah, that's normal. That's really normal. It hasn't, I mean, I used to walk down and say, oh my God, I said, hold the, hold, there's nothing to grab onto because you feel like you're like this swaying mm -hmm. back and forth on a boat and you go, it's in my gosh and equilibrium. It's in my head. It's it's not in the, that it's not physically balanced. It's level. It's like you just feel this insane sense of oh my god, I'm rocking back and, and it's. Do crazy. you still get that feeling when you Every go now through and there? Then. Every you haven't acclimated then. to it in any way, or? It's not my back thing. It's sometimes the energy level is like somebody turned up the dial to eleven on a on an amplifier where it only goes to ten, and sometimes it's zero. And you've been here a couple times, so it's like. No, it doesn't affect me now. And then later in the evening, you go there, it's like, holy crap, it's affecting me now. It's really strong. That's what happens. It's very unique. It's, and like I said, we can go back later on, but we'll go back there later on, and it might be fine to you then because it's, I it's moving. I actually kind of want to go back now just to see. Okay. Do you want to go back with David? Yeah, let's, let's, go. Off, let's go back down there. Like, okay, David before we go down there, David's no, got to show off the ribs. You like me? All right, in that case, take a look at these bad boys. Oh, God, they look so good, and they've been roasting for about an hour God almighty, an hour and a half now, which is good. That means they're ripping out all of the fat. Right. So what is all this, David? What's the R-Pod ghost detector? What's This is a proximity beacon. So the closer you get to it, see, as like I said, the field is discharging. It starts to respond. And as you get closer, the lights start to turn on. So Does it detect? So obviously energy. it detects ghosts, I guess. Well, it, it, we're using it as a ghost detector because if it goes off and there's nothing around it, what's creating that charge. Right. See, watch. I'm not even touching it. And I'm still not touching it, but I'm getting close to it. Now watch that. I mean, I've had this thing go off at two in the morning by itself for no reason. And then what's the thing behind there? This what is, is an electronic pod. They call it, it's a, basically, as you notice, as it's turning around, it's starting to light up. That's picking up the static electricity in the air. So if that starts to get really bright, as you notice, look at that. That's from just me moving around in the air. That's from the static electricity. As you see the faint light, then watch, I'll stop. There, you can actually see a strand dish. See, I can touch it, but that doesn't do anything. Now it's, it's picking up electricity in the air, static. 
And what were you telling me about the cell phones? You said that you try and not use cell phones when we're doing things like this. Yeah, somebody showed me that the cell phone for some reason, and I'll see if I can make that react, which is funny because I can't. Let me see, recent dial. Let's see, recent, let's try this. I'm calling on it, it's not having any of, what? My hair got pulled. What? I'm not joking, my hair got pulled. Does that happen? I did just hear you say, what the F? <laughs> I mean, you didn't say hey, it, but like. What time was that? By the way, what time was that at? That's right now, 9.15. 9.15, there's a camera here, there's a camera there. We have three cameras in this room that are recording right now. That's amazing, huh? And I, and what's funny, wait a second. Since you guys are really the first people that have been here in three or four months, um, I asked the spirits, I said, look, I've got Jordan the Lion coming here. You remember him. I said, you gotta really juice it up tonight. I said, I swear to god i said that i said you guys try to freak out my I guest said, i said you guys have got to really turn it up a notch i said we're trying to do this event in two months i said i want jordan to feel like this is going to be a solid event i said furthermore i said i want you spirits to really goose them just to goose them let them know you're real and you're here and i'm thinking and so it begins i said i hope this is a good night that we can edit some of this footage that i can use this seriously for people to see that this house is amazingly haunted it's that was my phone. Right That's your phone, all right. It's amazingly hard. David's on edge. Anything that happens now, he's got. He's ready to document the time. Now that's Quite interesting. Insane. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You just said, oh, you guys know who that was. I said, you guys know who that was, because it just dawned on me. Uh, so you didn't think that was. Who was it? Jay Seaton, the hairstylist, right there, Jay. That is kind of interesting. And I hadn't oh thought God. of that. Look at the it was the hair. hair. In this photograph of, who's, of uh, Julie Newmar. That's Black hair. Just like Julie Newmars, that's what I'm telling you. He pulled her hair, because of the, the picture. Okay, so I know that you guys don't know Jess, so I, you'll have to take my word for it. I, you'll, I will vouch that she did not come here hoping that anything would happen and that she's not an actress by trade or anything like that. So you're getting real responses. This is pretty amazing. My ears are popping, like I've just gone up in, a, in an airplane. We're back on the out, second floor. All of a sudden it's like, wow. Oh, is it strong? All right, it's because it hasn't had any ha guests in so many months, and I asked them to be really prominent. Wait, what's the matter? I've seen something, but I don't know, like a shadow. Like yeah. when Upstairs? Yeah. yeah. They're here, they're, they're giving you the show. They're happy. I'm glad you're happy, spirits. He goes, how else are we supposed to be but happy? We have people coming to talk to us and look for us. They feel special. They feel, they feel really happy that you're here, Jordan. They said they like Jordan. They want to give him a show like none other. Wow. Yeah, it's you guys, because my ears are just popping, like really like open. Wow. Do the dogs get affected at all? Do they feel anything? Do you notice any difference yeah. in their behavior? Well, he won't go, well, look at that. He's pacing back and forth. And he won't go downstairs. Watch this. Watch this for real, I kid you not. I watch what happens when I tell him to come downstairs. Come on, Reg, let's go downstairs. Come on, Ray. Come on, Reg, let's Coming go. Come me. on downstairs, come on, Reg. Come on, look where he's going. He's trying to get around her to get upstairs. You see that? Every time he was yet to set foot on the first step to go downstairs. He has never, and he's now been here seven years and four months. Ooh, my back of my head is just, just feeling like squish. The whole freaking hallway is just lit up like a Christmas tree, as I like to say. Shit. Here, let, let me just And now this. I'm starting to feel my chest right here. You're feeling it now? Right here. Take a look where she is. You're starting to feel it like heaviness. Uh -huh. Just like like a weight on your. That's the same. Actually, that's the same exact spot. The last time that you said it. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Here now, push through it. Just keep walking. Yeah, we didn't go through there and to the left. Okay. So if you have the, if you can do it, let's do it. Let's do it. By the way, this is Jack. Look who came back down the stairs. I kid you not. Look who's back here. I came back up this, and look where he is. He came back up after he ran up the stairs past you guys. He's back. You okay? You okay, sweetheart? 
We're gonna try and see so if she feels anything down Johnson. here. This is the story that's in the show, in the book. My sister-in-law and her brother, I mean her friend came over, the, two, the three of them came over. The two girls came down, got to the landing, looked down the hall, now the lights were off, and they saw a black guy. They said, they ran upstairs, they said, what happened? I said, did you go down the hall? She goes, no. They said, who, 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 who is the black guy at the end of the hall? It's like, what? They said, there's this dark figure that's literally doing this. They said, he's sticking his head out going, is it safe? And then ducking back. And it was all dark in this area. But they could see from the hallway the light that was in here was lit up enough. They could see a silhouette of a black guy going, is it safe? And coming back in. And they said, I said, did you go down? I said, we didn't go anywhere. We got to the, to the landing on the stairs, looked down the hall, saw this big black guy that's just kind of like six foot two. And so he goes, is it safe? And then ducked his head back in. He said, is it safe? He says, wow. is it safe? They heard him say it three times and then they ran up the stairs. I said, so you didn't? No, and the lights weren't on down here, so they didn't see any of this. How do you feel? We've been in this landing now for... I still feel a little... Walk this way. Let's, let's not push her. Let's just see what happens when she walks this direction. And in the meantime, I'll walk this direction to see. How does that feel? Mm, it's going really different than really. D different than this side? Not too much. You still feel the pressure here? Yeah. Now, walk down this way and see if the pressure is this direction here okay. or if it's empty. Okay, I'll walk over here so you can go down there. Oh no, I feel the pressure. You feel it again, huh? Oh yeah. Worse than here though, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, well let's get her out of there then. There's no point in having her walk down there. You don't feel right in this room either, huh? You don't like this? I mean, this room just feels I mean, off to you? Or? It feels off. Like I still have that pressure on my chest. It's like, this it's whole like, second floor, it seems like. Yeah. The whole second floor. Let's try, the, let's try going down one level. Let's Are you cool with that? Third. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Alright, let's go ahead and try going down to the... Uh, Third level. I know the dog's not gonna come, but I'll lead the way this time. Are you coming? Yeah, I'm gonna come. She stopped. Shot like a bullet. It's the, the dog. Ran right up the staircase. Okay, this is the lower level. I don't know what's been going on down here, but. Uh, oh How are you feeling? I feel okay right now. More importantly, how are you feeling? I'm not as bad as up there. That's interesting. Yeah, a lot of times, oh, we need to take her to the... Okay, you don't feel quite as bad down here. Let's take you to the... The, room. the big room. Earth and wall room over here. Yeah, this, this guy, please, Jay, please, Jay, please, please, pull her hair again, please. On <laughs> camera, <laughs> on camera, not in the freaking corner in the darkness. Pull it. I just want to go like this. All right, if it happens okay. again. Okay, stop it, Jay. Ready? All right. All right, here we go into the earth and wall room. That's an interesting expression. Come this way and tell us what, what are you what are you feeling? Uh, another weird feeling. <laughs> I don't know. Different than up it's in the hallway. It's just different, different. A lot different. Different. Mm -hmm. Here's what's interesting, Jordan. And here's what's interesting. Do you see where those? I guess the back of the wood is on the up there. Oh wow. <whistles> mm -hmm. Getting real hard. My ear just like like somebody's pushing like like inside my eardrum, as I'm saying this. The runway where you were, put it this way, do you see that pipe over there? You can come up on here, don't worry, it's not going to fall apart. That's the dryer. That's the dryer where, where you have the landing is right behind that wooden back there. If you look there, you see that concrete? There it is. You see the concrete up there, Jordan? Yeah. That's where you guys were standing. That's that runway. And it goes all the way that way. But that's where it is. So we're literally right underneath where you guys were standing. So you it makes sense if energy. you're feeling anything. But it's different, she said. It's not the same. That's why I was mentioning. It feels different than up there, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what's so interesting. But I'm just getting, wow, it's really, wow. Thick and, like, pushing, like, really. All right, I just came out of here because I was getting super dizzy. Out of nowhere, I literally just started getting really, really dizzy, so... 
I let them hang out in there. I came back out here. Yeah, so right. David significantly freaked out our guest. <laughs> Hi. And now he's gonna feed us. Now I'm gonna feed you after freaking you out. But of course, why not? The best baby back ribs you've ever had. I expected an unforgettable night at David's and we definitely got it. Now we get to eat. Well, my friends, another unexplainable night at David Oman's house. I want to thank David for inviting us out. Thank you for giving us a very bizarre experience. I don't know that Jess is ever going to recover from that. She was definitely quiet on the drive home. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you, David, for the food, for the book. Everyone check out David's book, and we'll see you all next time. Have a great night, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.